Hi, Tina. Hi, Jules. Thank you very, very much for this. I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the boot camp, if that's all right, and your experience of it. But firstly, can you tell me a bit about yourself and your business and how long you've been operating for? Sure. Um, I'm the co-director. My name's Tina Coper, and I'm the co-director of Ramus Illumination. We're a specialist lighting and video design company, and we specialise in luminous art. So we do permanent and temporary installations, mainly permanent installations, um, light designs for the facades of buildings. We do sculptural work, uh, sculptural light works, um, commercial installations. We do a lot of content. We work a lot in the public space. Uh, yep, so yep. we uh, currently have projects in each major city. Wow, um, you do incredible work too. It really yeah, is beautiful, yeah. stunning, unusual, fabulous. Great to do PR for. <laughs> Thank you so, very much. So now before the boot camp, had you ever tried any PR? And if so, what had happened? How had you, what had you been at your experience of PR? No, had not tried PR, had no clue what it meant. Right. We knew we needed to do, well, we were told we needed to do marketing. Um, really, we relied, because our work is so public, it was really the last job would create the next job, which would create the next job, and the publicity right. would be generated in that way. But right. it just was this mysterious world that I had no idea how it worked, what you were supposed to do. Um, and we actually, we did a marketing, uh, digital marketing strategy with a yep. company in Sydney. And I thought that I would get all of those, the answers. I just came away. There was great information that I had from a digital, uh, you know, how to, how to move in the digital world, yep. <laughs> promote in the digital world. But I wasn't clear on how to do that with, like, yeah, how do we approach media and how do we get things into papers? And so um, I actually put an ad up asking for a PR person. I wanted someone fabulous to just come in and wave do it all for you. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and then I was told about you and I thought, you'd do that for me. You'd come in and wave your wand. And then you went, oh, you can do it yourself. I'm like, hey, Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. So why did you decide to sign up to the boot camp? What, why did you decide that you wanted to try it yourself? You broke it. Well, besides the fact that you've got an incredibly good reputation, and so I had people coming in from all different directions going, oh, my God, you've so got to do this with Jules. <laughs> like, really? But I just want uh, to I hope no one can see my watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also the way that the website was presented, it just it just broke it down in a really practical way. So I started to feel like it was something, oh, okay, it made it sense of, I could try this, I could do this. I must nice. admit, I was a bit reluctant at first. But Well, you just did brilliantly, which we're going to find out in a minute when I ask you a question about how it yes. all went. But the, I guess um, I'd love to know if there were, if I was to say there were just two main things that you took away from the boot camp. What do you think they were, the two things that kind of resonated with you the most? The way to build relationships with the media, like that was key. And, you know, this is something that you kept reinforcing was that they are looking for great stories. And the simplicity of when you send a press release, don't put this is a press release in the title. <laughs> like have something really catchy. Yeah. Just I guess letting us know what is happening for journalists, that they're getting 200 emails in their inbox yep. in a day and that it needs to have something that's going, they're looking for great stories and so they want someone, they want something that's going to catch their eye and, you know, I really get that they don't want to have to do the work for you. They want it there. They want all the information that they need right there. So you also, it was about kind of getting all the guff Getting all the very yeah, and say what you need to say, say it clearly, um, and big yourself up, like really, like don't hold back and big yourself up. So actually, that's a lot more than two. Um, <laughs> that's fine. And, no, that's great. And cool. also, how to write a press book release and what you know. I'd been on the internet and seen that, but you know, and followed different guidelines. Yeah. But actually, having you take us through that. And so there's a real simplicity. You demystified um, an industry and an area that I just thought, oh, yeah, I've got to leave it up to somebody else to do that. 
uh, made it incredibly simple and digestible. Oh, so, thank you so much. Yeah. What a lovely thing to say. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so here comes the big question. Have you tried the PR? How did you go? And what coverage did you get? We're going to bundle all together because I know you've got a very interesting story because it, it, it was about the launch of this building, wasn't it? So I'll let, let you lead the way. Yes. we um, A month or so ago, we launched a building in Melbourne, um, 888 Collins Street, which does an artistic um, ver uh, interpretation of the weather in real time. So Amazing. Um, yeah, and it's really beautiful. And we, the nature of what we do is that we work with big clients. A lot of the time they're commercial developers, most yep. of our clients. So we're embargoed on what we can do as far as media. They like to take care of that. What was great, though, going into this, because I'd done the course, I was a PR expert, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I happened to have, I just, I had a confidence that I didn't, I kind of boundaries. Before I didn't know what the boundaries were. Yeah, um, right. And so I was able to feel my way through with more confidence. Um, and there were things that they, they, it's not that they didn't drop, but they, they also needed our support there for, to, yeah. So I felt like I was able to do that. But then we got once, They've got a couple of stories. They've got a couple of big... We've got some great media yeah. with them. They did a great job. You were, you were front page of quite a lot of big newspapers and things. Oh, like yeah. And, and that the was, news and stuff. Yeah. The thing about going into this project with our, our latest project that launched, we got a lot of media coverage, um, but I was able to work with the client and have the confidence, which I, I hadn't had before, uh, at knowing what the steps were uh, and what they were going to be going into with their um, with the PR company that they were using, and be able to work with them and make suggestions, which in the past I wouldn't have thought were either appropriate or would have had any clue. Right. Um, and they were really gracious at uh, opening the gate for us to then go to other industries. So we and and use our own press release. Right. So we we took our press release and were able to. Um, we went to all the lighting, architecture, design, and we've had some great, some really, there hasn't been loads. I mean, I don't know what the percentage is of what you want to get, yeah. but we're really happy and we're still getting approached by design magazines around the world. Two days ago, El, El Decor India. Oh, um, my goodness. Fantastic. Got in touch with us and they, they wanted a story, so... Um, and you so, knew what it was all about, I guess. You knew, knew what you were exactly. looking for. And yeah. What I knew yeah, that I needed to send the high-res images. I knew where to put my press release in the body of the email and not as an <laughs> attachment. <laughs> Fantastic. So, Fantastic. yeah, I, I would have to say for me what it's enormous confidence. I don't know why every small business like, duh, <laughs> why we aren't doing this. And the service you're offering is, yeah, very empowering for people, Jules. So... Um, Thank you very much, Tina. Yeah, really appreciate it. And I can feel that it's what we've done is like stage one. So I can feel like there'll be different levels that I'll be coming back to you and going, oh, okay, so there's this Ready now. To learn a so, bit more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we've got to get your your co your co founder of the business on TV. That'll be the next one. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. My pleasure.